have decided to allow five children to visit my factory. Five golden tickets have been hidden underneath the wrapping paper of five ordinary Wonka bars. Hey, love. Hello. Do you have a long day, love? Yeah. Would you want me to make you a snack? I haven't made dinner because it's Friday. No. Well, if you're too tired to eat out, I have some meat in the freezer. I'll just go and make you something. No, I don't want anything. Just sit down. I don't know how to say this, but it needs to be said. I'm just going to say it in the open. And that's that. Obviously, I will give you money for the baby. There's no need for a fuss. I just don't want it to affect my job. Well, I'll, I'll just go and get the supper. I told you, I don't want anything. I'm going out. Jack, Patrick told me to call you if anything ever happened to him. He's been murdered. Blunt force trauma. Only a heavy metal object could do this kind of damage. Mrs. Maloney, can you please tell me what happened here? Well, Patrick came home and I bought him his drink. We usually go out on Friday nights, but he, he didn't want to eat out, so... So I put some food in the oven and I, I went to the grocery store to get some potatoes. And when I came home, he was dead. So I called you. And uh, which grocery store did you say that was? Dora's Cafe, just down the road. I've searched the room for the motor weapon, but I haven't found it yet. It has to be close. It's too heavy to be moved far. Is there uh, something cooking? Yes! Do you want to stay for dinner? I'm, I'm still shocked and I don't want it to go to waste. I really shouldn't. Please. Well, I'm hungry. 
The murder weapon ought to be close. Nobody would carry that thing longer than what they need. Personally, I think it's on the premises. Probably right under our noses. Thank you.